Hi guys, this is Taylor. So, this is a book haul, and I have been on a book buying ban since I think about July. So you can kind of do the math and figure out what is going on here today. This is essentially the haul of the books that broke my book buying ban. Although, I have nine books to show you here today, and of those nine, I think I only paid for three of them, and the rest were library discards, which I pretty much knew was going to happen anyway. The books that I did buy, I got for really cheap, secondhand, so I would like to think that I mostly stuck to the plan. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to dig myself out of a hole here. So I'll start with the books that I bought. Um, there is a church very close to where I live, and every year they have a big community sale that includes books, so it's pretty much tradition that I go to it every year. Probably should have taken that into account, but whatever. So the first book that I bought was Cinnamon and Gunpowder by Eli Brown. I heard about this several years ago from Rincey from Rincey Reads, and it has been on my TBR ever since. This is a historical novel about a famous chef who is kidnapped by pirates, and he's told that he will be killed unless every week he can um, cook up an exquisite meal for them just based on the uh, the food supply that they have on the ship already. I've never read a proper novel about pirates, so I'm excited about this, and I've also heard that there's some really good food writing in here, and I think that we all like some good food writing. The next book I picked up was Very Good Lives by J.K. Rowling. This is just a transcript of her commencement speech at Harvard. I don't know why I expected anything less. Pretty self-explanatory. I love a good inspiring speech and I didn't really plan on owning this but it was like a dollar so here we are. And the last book that I picked up was Mansfield Park. Slowly collecting my Austins and none of them, absolutely none of them match at this point but that's okay and I do enjoy this uh, modern library classics edition. So now I'll move on to the library discards and the first of which I was very surprised and happy to see. It is Goodbye Vitamin by Rachel Kong. This had a moment on booktube when it first came out, uh, which was only last year, I think. This is about a 30-year-old woman whose father is losing his memory, so she moves back home to try and take care of him and be with him. And I guess humor plays an important role in this book because supposedly it's humor that helps the main character uh, process her grief about the situation and about other less than fortunate situations in her life. A lot of people read this and like this, so I'm very happy to own a copy. The next book is How to Be Both by Ali Smith. I have yet to read an Ali Smith, but again, this had a lot of buzz when it first came out. Somehow I still know almost nothing about this other than the whole publishing thing. This consists of two sections. One takes place, I think, during the Renaissance, and one takes place during the 1960s. And the book was published so that either of those two sections could come first, just depending on which copy you happen to pick up. I'm still not sure which Ally Smith is going to be my first one. I have this one now and Public Library, so if you have an opinion on that, on which one should be my first, feel free to let me know. The next book I picked up is Nausea by Jean-Paul Sartre. I apologize to any French-speaking people out there, I cannot do that thing. I just finished a philosophy class this semester, and Sartre was on the syllabus for the end of the year, but we didn't end up getting to him. He was actually the person I was most looking forward to studying, so I saw a copy of his novel and went ahead and picked it up. This is about a writer who is kind of horrified by his own existence, so it sounds vaguely autobiographical, from what I know, and I love this cover so much. Oh, yeah, okay. So next up I have this extremely old, beat-up copy of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which at one point belonged to David Hooper. I always try to collect my classics as cheaply as humanly possible. We all know that I will gladly shell out money for new books, so I have to make some <laughs> concessions somewhere, and as for classics, it doesn't really matter if I really like the way that they look, at least my first copies. If I read a classic and I love it, then I might go ahead and collect it in like a fancy edition, but as for my first copy, I don't really care what it looks like. My second to last book is Carousel Court by Joe McGinnis Jr. I really thought this was by a woman. Okay. I believe this is a little bit of a domestic thriller. It's about a young married couple who are looking for a fresh start for their family, and they move to Southern California, but the neighborhood where they move in, it's just houses being foreclosed every day, and the economic situation is really 
harrowing. So they're kind of backed up against a wall and they each form their own plans about how to deal with the situation and possibly get back on their feet. I'm really interested in novels about class and economic disparity, so I hope this is a good one and that it tackles these issues in an effective way. So my last book is I think the one that I'm most excited about. I was kind of floored to find this edition. This is out by Natsuo Kirino and I've only ever seen the paperback of this book. I almost didn't recognize it. I don't know why it's so cool to have found the first edition hardcover for me, but this is totally falling apart though, and that's probably why we discarded it, but everyone seems to love this book. This is about a woman who uh, strangles her deadbeat husband and then her co-workers help to dispose of the body, I guess. And I think this is one of those literary mysteries where we know the crime and we know who did it, but we don't know the details or the why, and we spend the novel slowly finding out and building character development and things like that. I don't think I've heard one bad thing about this novel, so obviously I was really excited to find it. So those are all the books I've acquired over the last several months. In all honesty, it's really not that bad compared to my usual spending habits. My usual vice is really online booksellers, so Book Outlet, Book Depository, Amazon, and I really have not had the urge in the last couple months to just go online and pick something out, so it was really nice to curb that habit, as temporary as it might be. So thank you so much for watching, feel free to let me know what you think of these books, and I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!